You have seen reports, I uh, presume, of the fighting that's going on in Donetsk. I'm wondering if you have anything um, to say about that. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Uh, well, first, uh, let me, of course, I, I know we put out a statement from the Secretary yesterday about the successful uh, elections uh, this weekend, uh, so I would point everyone to that. Uh, we look forward to, of course, working with President-elect Poroshenko and the people of Ukraine to build on uh, the vic this victory for democracy. Um, in terms of uh, the events uh, over the weekend or the reports of uh, violence, um, we um, certainly have been uh, watching uh, those events closely. Uh, we remain concerned about the actions of Russian separatists um, against um, uh, uh, civilians in uh, eastern Ukraine. Uh, we support the efforts of the government of Ukraine to uh, maintain calm and take steps uh, to maintain order in their own country, uh, and we remain in close contact with them as well. Um, so you, you believe that this violence is the responsibility entirely of, of, of pro-Russian separatists? Is that, I mean, do you have any words of caution or advice of restraint for, to, to the Ukrainian government? Well, certainly to all parties, but I would remind you, and obviously there are a range of reports uh, out there about uh, events that have happened over the course of the past couple of days. There are some involving the airport. Um, right. There are some involving um, the, um, uh, the fact that a special monitoring mission is missing. Uh, so there are a range of, of different reports, uh, different, uh, and, and I, I guess I could speak to all of those. But uh, my point I was making is that the, the Ukrainian government and the, uh, the Ukrainian authorities have every right to certainly take steps to maintain calm and order uh, where they see fit. Right, but, do, but you don't have any concerns about whether they are acting, uh, that they're, they're going too far? You don't have any concern that, that are, do you believe that everything the Ukrainian authorities have done to this point in trying to maintain law and order has been has been reasonable, has a well. If if we, we have concerns, we will express them. But um, certainly as of this moment, you don't have any concerns. I, I am not expressing a concern about the events of, over the course of the weekend. No, uh, uh, in terms of the Ukrainian authorities, no. Okay, so in 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 the view of the State Department, view of the administration is that what is happening on the ground in the east right now in Donetsk and other, and other places where there are clashes, where there's fighting, that is all the fault of the separatists. Well, that, again, they, Matt, they're the instigators. Obviously, they are certainly. We believe they're the instigators. Yes, and we believe, and I think there's broad reporting on their involvement in what's happening at the airport or what happened at the airport over the course of the weekend. Okay. I think there's a much question. Well, about that. The, but there are a lot. Of, there are a lot of reports from my news organization, from, from others as mm -hmm. well, that th this isn't entirely one-sided. That, that I mean, and it, the separatists. Some of the separatist leaders say that. They've been that the Ukrainian authorities have been shooting at uh, civilians, but you don't, you haven't seen that. Well, if we have concerns, we'll express them, but okay. uh, that's not what <clears> at this moment. All right, and then do you.